Okay, well, welcome everybody. This is the uh, computer science breakout room for our panel today. Um, and some of you joined a little bit later, but I was saying, you know, feel free to turn on your cameras, especially if you want to ask a question of our panelists. Um, and I would like to kind of start this whole thing off by um, asking our panelists to introduce themselves and maybe tell us a little bit about what the mission of your organization is um, and any internship opportunities that you might have for our students. I'll just go across my, my screen here. So um, Lee, you're up first on my on my screen. So either Lee or Paige, if one of you want to, wants to talk about Jam, please uh, feel free, free to. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Paige. Uh, I am a recruiter at Jamf Software. Um, and so Lee and I have worked together for um, a few hiring cycles now for our internship program at Jamf. Um, but um, our mission, our goal at uh, Jamf is to help organizations succeed with Apple. Uh, so short and sweet, but we develop software that helps organizations manage all of their Apple devices. Um, so we have everything from initial um, product uh, development and engineering all the way through to sales training and support at Jamf. Um, so we have a summer internship program every year. And um, that usually kicks off hiring um, in early winter um, for the following June. Um, so we're gearing up for career fair season and hoping to get those internships open in the next couple of months. But we usually have a large um, group of software engineering interns um, that we hire for. So we're excited to chat with everyone. Thank you. Um... The, 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 the next company on our panel here is, uh, Jam, sorry, is Noble Applications. Tracy or Steve, do you wanna talk a little bit? Sure, I'll start. Hi everybody, my name is Steve O'Brien and I'm the CEO of Noble Applications. Uh, Tracy, who's with us is our marketing and accounts manager. Um, we're a custom software design and development shop with a focus on mobile app development and building platforms. Um, but we also build a lot of uh, web applications and websites as well. Um, so our mission is to help our customers achieve their business goals through discovering and defining proper application solutions and then beautifully and flawlessly executing them and collaborating on techniques to drive real adoption and growth of their applications. Um, we always have an internship program running uh, we definitely see spikes up in the summer, like right now. Uh, we have, we've had three interns this summer, um, and we currently have two. Uh, definitely uh, software engineering um, internships uh, are always available. Um, and we have a marketing intern right now that's helping uh, write copy for uh, our marketing and for our customers' marketing websites. Um, and then we also have design internships. Um, and product manager, anything that goes in with the software development life cycle, we're open to discuss internships with folks. Um, so that's our overview. Thank you, Adira. Thank you, Steve. Um, if I can now, you know, we don't have uh, too many people, so I think it would be good to kind of go through and have the students introduce yourselves. Uh, if you could just say, you know, your name, your um, campus that you're coming from, and maybe your uh, year or major, if you feel like sharing that, um, I'll just call on I'll, I'll just call on the students. <laughs> uh, first is Sumesh, and if you could turn on your video, that'd be great. Yeah, so I'm Sumesh. I'm uh, majoring in computer science, and I'm a senior. And in the past, I have did uh, data science uh, internship with the uh, one of the faculties at Miami University which was my previous institution. Um, so my major interest is uh, in data analytics and machine learning stuff. Um, so I'm looking for doing an internship in winter and also in, uh, in by June and uh, also going to do the graduate uh, school in computer science and uh, in uh, the focus of data science and machine learning. So I'm looking at an internship in that area. <laughs> And what campus are you from? Uh, Parkside. 
Parkside, great. Welcome. Next we have, uh, I apologize if I don't say your name correctly, Yikpan. Did I say that right? Yeah, uh, it's, it's Yipan Kopa. Yipan, okay. So actually, uh, I'm a transfer student from uh, Maureen Park. Uh, I transfer to UW Ashkash, but I just started my career you know, in computer science. I started my first year in, uh, in September. So yeah, September will be my first year studying computer science, but I got associated in computer networking. Yeah. Okay, next we have Bentley. Hi, I'm Bentley. Um, I am a junior um, at UWO and I'm studying computer science. Um, part of my interest in computer science is mostly on the cybersecurity side. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Shane Flynn. Hello. Uh, no camera, can't find it at the moment, uh, <laughs> but I go to UW-Whitewater, uh, majoring in computer science, uh, currently a senior with one more semester left here. Uh, over the summer, right now I'm working on a project with a professor related to a self-driving car and uh, using data from camera and LiDAR to optimize a 5G uh, wireless signal. Um, next is Alyssa Slavy. Slavy. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Hello, everybody. My name is Alyssa Slavy. I'm actually a career counselor at UW Eau Claire, so I'm kind of representing the career services side of the house today. And um, I've been with UW Eau Claire for 12 or since 2012, nine years um, in the same department, same role. Thank you, Alyssa. Uh, did I miss anyone? Did I, did I get everyone? Craig's here. Uh, Craig is our marketing person at WISIS. I think he wants to be a fly on the wall, so I wouldn't put him on the spot. <laughs> but with that, um, you know, I'd like to open it, open it up for questions. If you have a question, you know, raise your hand, either actually raise your hand because I can see you or uh, raise your hand using the reactions button, button at the bottom. Wait, is that where you do that? Just do a reaction from the bottom, that's easier <laughs> than trying to find the raise hand button um, or unmute yourself if no one else is talking. We're very casual conversation. And uh, so we'll start. Any questions for our panelists? If nobody has a question, I can, I can, I have a question actually. Um, you know, I, I know that both of your companies do a lot of student internships. Could you talk a little bit about, you know, the, the typical duration of a, of a student intern internship that you do and, um, you know, what kind of uh, experience are you striving for the students to have? Sure. Do you want to go, Paige, or would you like uh, me to go? All right. Cool. Go ahead, Steve. Um, yeah, so very typical, our interns, our internships start with an, uh, a summer, right? So uh, between the semesters and the summer, so three months. Um, we've never had an internship actually that has stopped there, however. Um, so we've had interns that come back summer after summer. Um, and then for a lot of them, um, they kind of get interested in what they're doing. And it kind of works out well for them since we do software development um, where they can work remotely. And you know, they, they may change what their focus is, like they might do testing or code review or something like that while they're remote and back at campus. Um, but very often our interns stay on at least part-time and it's sort of their college part-time job throughout the semester. Um, so typical is three months, but I think Tracy, I can't remember one intern that has only been three months and not and not worked with us at least part time afterwards. Uh, no, and you know what? I've been with Noble for three years, and I've I've worked with all the same interns. You know, they've gone a little bit, and then they've come back. Like Steve said, either in the summers between semesters. Obviously, with the pandemic, it was a little different, um, but we felt really fortunate to actually have some of them come back on staff. 
um, my intern, my marketing intern that I have right now, um, he uh, went to UW Madison. So he started at semester um, and he actually planned, you know, to move on. And um, he's still with us as well um, after graduation while he is full time job searching. Um, but it's, he's been a great addition. And so we just really believe in giving any intern that we have the opportunity to learn different things, uh, become, you know, whatever they want, really, but work with our entire team collaboratively. So, yeah, I know they've all been here quite a long time. And then I'll add to that the um, what we're looking for in an intern, I think was the part B of your question, Adahira, um, is uh, I'll, I'll answer that by saying the value that I think we provide to college students. So when you're, you know, getting a computer science degree um, in college, it's often very theoretical. Um, very often any coding that you're doing is in sort of a modified version of Java and you're focused on like operating system theory and application and functions. So for us, we make native mobile apps, we make web applications, we program servers to build platforms, for design interns, interns were, you know, using Sketch and Figma. Um, so the value that our interns get is they actually get into an IDE if they want to be a programmer. So you know, instead of in your theoretical operating system and using some stripped down version of Java, um, you're actually in the Xcode IDE or the Android Studio IDE or Visual Studio for web development or IntelliJ for web development or server programming. And you actually get to code um, in our internships and work with uh, experienced developers to review your code, um, you know, help people um, with what their learning path is. Uh, you know, we always, we don't think of our internship program as just like, hey, we get some work from an intern. Um, we always wanna help people on the path that they're on. And the other thing that we're interested in knowing when we consider interns or we're thinking about bringing an intern on um, is your side projects, right? So most people that are really going to be programmers and be and really be good programmers, um, even if they're not doing it in school, they're trying to build a web application uh, on the side, right? Or they're trying to make an app that they're going to get in the app store on the side, or they have an app in the app store that they've built on their own and they've done some self-learning, they, they're showing some intellectual and philosophical curiosity about programming. So I think I answered your question, Adira, or Tracy and I answered your question. Yeah, thank you, Stephen. I'll let um, uh, Paige or Lee answer the question before we move on to our question from our student. Yeah, thanks. Um, I'll answer that one. Uh, I've been working the internship program for about three years. I've been with JAMP4, and every year at it's evolving a little bit. Uh, this year, uh, within the walls of our product uh, and delivery organization, we have nine interns total. They range everything from our product operations side to our cloud side and then engineering. And then just depending on what product uh, they're involved with, uh, they start in the summer, uh, just like uh, Steve has suggested and they work throughout the summer, we integrate them into the team. So one of the things I hear, and I think Paige will attest to this, is that uh, all of our interns wanna see their code um, put out to production. Uh, they wanna see it live and how it works. So um, I'm telling you that within the first couple weeks, we have most of our interns who have integrated onto our uh, small scrum teams and are working just like a team member. Um, in fact, over the last few days, uh, I've just been catching up with the managers and mentors of our interns and hearing a little bit about their experiences. And I think there hasn't been one that isn't like being treated, I'll use those words, like a real employee. We hear from a number of our interns every year how their friends have internship programs and they're kind of off on these side projects in a little room, don't really have any interaction with team members. So um, I like to say that, yeah, you're, you're a member of Jamf, you're a part of our team and that 
really helps breed, I think, our culture of selflessness and relentless self-improvement. So those are two things that um, I know um, I value in our internship program, and I think uh, our people do as well. Just similar to Steve uh, and Tracy, our interns, uh, they finish up with a project. And uh, because we're in a remote work world, those vary from uh, interns showing us um, their online version of how they fixed code and uh, demoed it through to production, or uh, people have been very lighthearted about their project and talking about their team and what they most like about Jamf. So it's been really fun to see uh, these interns' personalities come out in our remote work world as we all know it today. Um, a number of these interns just, um, again, like, uh, your company, we uh, have people that express interest in continuing to work during the school year. And I think last year out of the eight interns, we had seven of them continued on through the school year. And many of them um, turned around and were offered full-time opportunities. So um, we're really proud about of that as well. Uh, I I think that answers most of the questions, but really happy to talk about anything more that um, has been sparked in uh, what Steve and I have said. Thank you. Lee. Um, I, have a, I have a quick comment. Lee, that, that was awesome. Actually, when you said immersing into your culture, um, I think that's so important to just hit on as well. Um, what's been important for our team as well is just really immersing our interns in our team meetings, um, making them feel like they are a true employee, which you know, for all cases they are for us. Um, but I think just having that feeling, especially that connection, working in a remote world right now is just part of the success um, that we've had. So that's really important. Just, you know, you always say team player, but um, you're kind of combining the best of both worlds. So I love that you said that because that's really consistent with what we've seen as well. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think both of these are organizations that, you know, uh, truly value students and, and want to make sure that uh, the students have a great experience as they intern through. Um, Yik, Yik Pan, do you, you had a question? Oh, you're muted. I think they already answered my question that I wanted to ask, but I'll still ask this though. What is the qualification of to be an uh, applicant for an intern? like a GPA, something like that, or what you need to do to get a, to get a position in the, in the internship. That's what I want to know. That's a good question, yeah. Um, Lee or Paige, do you want to start? Sure, I can, I can handle this one. Um, so for us, um, kind of overarching for all of our interns, we usually have about 30 to 40 every summer um, across all of our different departments. Um, but you do need to be enrolled in um, some sort of class program throughout the duration of your internship. So for example, if you were to graduate in May and then look to start an internship that June, um, we'd be looking at you for a full-time or, you know, job opportunity rather than an internship. Um, but if you're graduating that coming December and you want to do a summer internship before that final semester, that works great for us. Um, so that's a, a big requirement. Um, otherwise, you know, sometimes we have requirements depending on the role. Um, so for our engineering internships, for example, you know, we're looking for um, certain classes that you've taken or at least that you're you've gone through certain portions so you have that skill set um, because we do do a version of a, a tech screen to make sure that you can really get integrated and get the most out of the internship. Um, other roles, it can be any major, any year. Um, you know, we really want you to get that experience and it's what comes first, the chicken or the egg, right? <laughs> and, and we don't like, um, you know, having that be something that holds people back. We're excited to teach you and give you the opportunity to learn. Um, no GPA requirements or anything like that. Um, we really just ask people to have an open mind. It'll feel like drinking from the fire hose <laughs> from time to time um, because we, we get you involved in everything, but um, lots of opportunity to learn. 
Um, so it kind of depends on the role in terms of classes um, expected, but we keep it as broad as we can so that we can really bring in as many people as we can with a bunch of different backgrounds. Thank you, Paige. Uh, Steve or Tracy? Yeah, thank you, uh, everybody. Um, our only uh, requirement is that um, you're, you're committed to relentless self-improvement um, I was actually just kidding. I was stealing Lee's line there. I really like that line. <laughs> um, the Jamf line, that was a really great line. Um, no, but outside of it being legal to work in the United States, um, we, uh, we don't have any requirements on the internship. Um, we've, you know, even hired people for programming internships that are not majoring in computer science before. So uh, for what we do, um, you know, programmers, there's, there's not like a certificate that makes you a programmer, for example, or there's not a certificate that makes you a designer. Um, so we don't have any formal requirements. We do an interview process with our, with our interns, though. So I would say informally, our requirement is that um, you have a passion for programming and an intellectual and philosophical curiosity about how to make applications work and how to make them extremely great. Thanks for the question, Eva. Thank you. Um, you know, kind of just to follow up on that a little bit, um, when you do your internship process, do you, do you post the job somewhere? Is it on LinkedIn? Do they go to their web, your website? Is it sort of a rolling admission? How, how would people find your internship? Anyway, but Paige, go ahead. So, uh, I'll start. Um, <laughs> it's a race to hit the button. Um, <laughs> so for us, um, we post initially, you know, it's our own job board. Um, so um, the great thing is with Jamf, you can sign up for job alerts too, um, where you can, um, you know, get notified when a job posts. But we also work with Handshake. Um, as well, or some of those other more university related job boards too. Um, LinkedIn, that stuff, you know, sometimes hiring managers will post your own roles. Um, following us on social media, um, you know, Instagram and some of those, we post stuff there too. Um, so kind of, we, we try and get out um, and make sure that it's available. Um, it is a rolling um, application process. Um, but we do kind of hit a point, especially engineering, we get a couple hundred applications. Um, so it's good to keep an eye and apply quickly um, so that you kind of get in that first wave of, of interviews um, since it is more competitive. Thank you. Steve, Tracy, Steve. Yeah, Tracy, I don't think we post internship job positions, do we? No, you know what? It's, you know, our company is a lot smaller and, um, I feel like they found us, <laughs> you know, uh, Steve is always like, we've got this new intern coming on. Um, you know, of course we do all the, the regular um, job opportunities that we post for full-time roles. Um, but I don't, I don't, I've never had to post an internship yet. Um, I'm not opposed to it. Um, we actually recently joined Handshake as well. So it was really interesting. We're, we're getting to know that platform, especially for other university connections, which I'm really excited to be a part of that community. Um, and that may be a new opportunity. So I love you, you said that, but yeah, Steve always comes to me and he's got interns already. <laughs> the way that interns find us is uh, we do work with, uh, you know, WISIS. Um, we do work with the University of Wisconsin. Um, and, you know, just from working with a lot of colleges or people that are interested, we get exposed to a lot of folks for a lot of the events that we do. Um, both with entrepreneurs and there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of uh, collegiate entrepreneurs now, um, the entrepreneurship programs. So, you know, that's where they come from, Trace, it's like uh, people that we've been introduced to at, at those types of events uh, will either know somebody and say, hey, you should internship at this place or, or something like that. So it's really a word of mouth program. Um, and I was just thinking, Trace, when the question was asked, I was like, oh, no, I don't think we post for them. Um, but it's a great question. Well, now all the students here know about it now, right? Yeah. So, um, so Tell we your friends, please. wait for them to be just email you to ask you more <laughs> about it or 
that is how it happens it's okay. like either through a linkedin message or an email it'll just people will ask if we offer internships great thank you i think we might have time for one quick question if any students have any other questions so i have a quick question so okay. is there a uh, is there an opening for data science or machine learning internship um with any company or we have not had a data science focused internship um, yet specifically at Jamf. Um, so it's not a, a large area um, of our company currently, um, but we continue to grow like mad. Um, I mean, I started three and a half years ago. We had 800 employees. Now we have 2000. So it's explosive growth with a lot of change. Um, Lee, anything you can think of that would be related to that or close that you know of? Yeah, the only thing I was going to say is one of our interns last year uh, did move into a role as a data scientist, and that's the first that um, I've known of that, and it's in our cloud operations group. So there you go. Yeah. So it's growing, just like cybersecurity and machine learning, and uh, you know, it's the future uh, in a lot of areas. Yeah, Samesh, that was your question, is if there's data scientist internships? Oh, yes, uh, I'm looking for it. You're looking for a data scientist internship? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't yeah. know if, uh, Adhira, if you have any recommendations. We don't have anybody specifically in that role. Um, there are, you know, for some of our systems, there's uh, occasional things where we need to write some scripts in Python and so forth. Is that your, is that your curiosity, Samesh? Is, uh, doing data scientist type of programming in Python on backend yeah. data sets and servers? Yeah, uh, so I've been uh, doing my uh, past research in Python and uh, yeah, that's the main focus um, with Python programming. Yeah, here, um, I don't know if you have any recommendations, but the university, uh, a lot of folks that I work with that are doing research projects at universities, they often need a mm -hmm. team and then interns on that team to be data scientists and offer internships as well through many university resources. Uh, but people yeah, are doing doc work and stuff like that. Sorry, go ahead. Right, and, and I was just going to uh, add to that and say, you know, we do have connections with universities and, and researchers who are doing uh, sort of data science related projects. We also have an innovation and data science meetup coming uh, coming up on Spark. So Samesh, if you haven't signed up for that, that might be a good one to sign up for because you might find uh, connections and other, other uh, industry who will be there who are working specifically in data science. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. So if you go to the Spark website where you signed up for this event, you'll see one of the other events listed is innovation in data science. So sign up for that. All right. Well, I want to thank our panelists. I think we're uh, we should be wrapping up soon. So before I get cut off, I want to thank everyone for being here. And uh, you know, you, you guys have been a, a great panel. And I think both Jamf and Noble are companies that you know Weiss has worked with, and and we know that they're um, they're very passionate about helping our students. So thank you for being here. And everybody, don't hesitate to reach out to these uh, great people. Uh, find them on LinkedIn or. Um, you know, reach out to us and if, if I think you guys said it was okay, I mean, we can give you your, uh, their email addresses as well. Um, so thank you all. I think we're going to get kicked out in 10 seconds. So we'll see you in the main room. <laughs>